welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I'll be sharing a perfume haul today. And if you want to skip the intro, I'm gonna put a timestamp down below because this may get a little long. So anyway, um, so I've been talking recently about my 99 bottles and possibly going on a no buy and I've been giving that a lot of thought and reflection. I feel like I've been putting too many constraints on myself and I'm not saying that I wanna let loose and go crazy, but I don't want to stay narrowly confined to a set amount of bottles. I really love the idea and I think it worked for me for a little while, but I feel like I want a more organic process. So I am not going to be abiding by the 99 bottles anymore. I still want to do declutters fairly regularly. And if I don't love something, then it doesn't need to stay in my collection. But I feel like I was putting myself in too much of a box. So, and with the no buy, I just, I don't know that that's gonna be productive for me either because I think I need to probably examine my motivations. I recently watched a video from Eugene from You Smells Good and um, he really, I think, put it very eloquently about what is driving those decisions and what's going on inside of us. So um, I'm gonna just do more reflection and I'm not gonna have those uh, rules that I'm holding myself to. So um, that was one thing. And then another thing was I watched a video from Whitney Hedrick. I really like her channel too. And she has a really interesting perspective. She went on a one year no buy for makeup. She's more of a makeup enthusiast. I thought she had some really insightful words too. So I'll link both of those videos down below if you wanna check them out. I definitely recommend them both. So that's kind of the scoop on where I'm at right now. I, um, I'm i going to definitely try and curb my buying, but I'm not putting myself on a no buy, nor am I going to constrain myself to 99 bottles or a, any kind of set number of bottles. I am proud of myself for avoiding the Sephora VIB sale this year. This is the first Sephora sale that I've managed to avoid. I feel like I have got more than a lifetime's worth of makeup here. <laughs> so I really don't need anything. I buy my perfume at Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy mostly and a couple other places, but I just felt like I didn't need anything from Sephora. And so I'm pretty excited. I may actually not make Rouge this year. We'll see how that goes. But again, I'm not gonna put any hard and fast rules, but um, I am pretty proud of myself for avoiding the Sephora VIB sale, which is 20% off, which really isn't that much. So, I mean, I could save myself 20 bucks if I spent a hundred, but if I don't need stuff, am I really saving money? So anyway, without further ado, here's the haul. A couple of these I made dedicated videos to, so I won't spend any time on them. One is Jesus Del Pozo's Cashmere Bouquet Nights. I have a, a video on that. Check it out. I'll put it up in the cards. Beautiful. Love it. Longevity, not the greatest, but can't have everything. Um, the next one was the Penhaligon's Portraits Collection. This is the Ruthless Countess Dorothea, and I have a dedicated video to that one too, and this is another beauty. And I will put the card up for that one too. And very happy with this purchase. Um, longevity, I would say, is kind of medium-ish. It's, um, it's better than the Del Pozo, but it's, it's not um, as good as I would have thought, but I still love it, so that's a beauty. Several of these are kind of a continuation of my YouTube Made Me Buy It Fragrance with Amy edition. <laughs> which I'll put up in the cards too, um, because several of these were Amy recommendations as well. So I'm pretty excited about these. This one is a discontinued partial bottle that I bought on Mercari from the fabulous Sarah Mays. I'll link her channel below. This is Giorgio Armani's Sensi, and it's got a really beautiful vintage vibe, and I really love it. So um, I was really grateful to Sarah. She's very, very sweet and kind and generous. She actually sent me a decant of this before I... Um, before I decided to buy it to make sure that I like it. And I really do like it. I think the bottle's beautiful and I think it's a gorgeous fragrance. So that's Scentsy from Armani. I got Jennifer Lopez Glowing. This is another discontinued one that I bought on Mercari. This is a really pretty floral um, and haven't given this one a wear test yet, but it's a beautiful floral and I think it's, I, I really like it. I think it's really, really lovely and um, 
kind of delicate and um, very floral and beautiful and um, just a lovely kind of a dainty fragrance, I guess. So I thought that was really, really beautiful. And then the last one um, from Amy's recommendations, this is M from Mariah Carey. And this is pretty popular. I see this on um, quite a few channels. And this is another really pretty floral. Um, actually, there's some similarities, I think, between Glowing and this one. So they're both very beautiful florals. I think this bottle is actually beautiful. Um, so, and this is very cheap. So I really like both of these, um, Glowing and M. Gorgeous. And then I have got some other things here. So this one is from Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. So this is her has been getting a lot of buzz on the internet and YouTube especially. And I've not gotten my nose on that one, but I got this one on FragranceNet and it's really pretty. It reads very gender neutral to me. This is gorgeous and it's going to be on my shelf my husband's shelf. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention, space. So obviously we have limited space here. <laughs> so that's going to um, affect my potential buying habits in the future. This is gorgeous. Um, I love it. And um, I'm really excited to wear this one. And like I said, this is going to be on my shelf. My husband's shelf is getting pretty crowded actually. <laughs> so it's beautiful. It's, um, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of maybe slightly like Spice Bomb, but but it's it's unique enough. Uh, we don't have Spice Bomb currently anyway. I featured that in my empties video, but it's beautiful. I'm really, really loving it. And then I got this one um, because this was a pretty good deal on Fragrance Net. This is from Clean Reserve and this is called Amber Saffron. And this is really pretty. Uh, I've not had too much luck with the brand Clean. I haven't really liked many other fragrances. This one I really like. It is spicy and um, it's called Amber Saffron and that's really what it gives me is, and this was a very good deal. I think this retails for like a hundred and I think it was like 30 or 40 on Fragrance Net. It's, it's lovely. It's very unique, interesting. Um, I think the lasting power is not good. So that's a bummer. Um, but I think this will be a great one for layering and I, I love it anyway. So. Kate Walsh's boyfriend. So I talked about um, Coco Woods recently from Nest and that that might be similar to the original Kate Walsh boyfriend perfume. And one of my fabulous subscribers mentioned in the comments that they came out with this again. Um, you have to order it directly from the site. It's like boyfriend.com or something. Just Google Kate Walsh boyfriend and you'll find it. I'll put it below too. Um, and, uh, so I got this and it's so, so beautiful. This just came today and it's, it doesn't smell anything like Cocoa Woods to me. I mean, I guess it does have a slight gourmand. It's beautiful. It's, um, it's definitely kind of amber heavy, but it's also got more, like I said, it's got a little touch of gourmand, um, it's gorgeous. It's grown up. Um, with a name like Boyfriend, you might think it might be kind of a more youthful fragrance, but I think this is a very delicious grown up beauty. So I'm pretty excited to have this. Thank you again to my fabulous subscriber. I really appreciate that. So I'm pretty excited about that one. So that concludes this haul and I will have another one coming within the next couple of weeks because I'm expecting a few more things from Fragrance Buy Mostly. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you again very soon.